hollow victory at Elal. Israel assault Syria defense. As the Syrian offensive drove deep into the Golan Heights, the Israeli army launched several hurried counterattacks to drive back the Syrians. In one such assault, the Peled Armor Division struck at the Syrian 5th Mechanized Division near El Al. However, the Syrians were entrenched and supported with anti tank guided missiles and T 55s. Soon, a Soon a wild melee of tanks and missile fire ensued. Ah, this is gonna be horrible. Ah, do we want to be eating missiles or do we shooting missiles? I don't know, we... I'm sort of inclined to do the defense this time, but... Uh, as we did our defense, now then assault, now defense again. Also, I'm not sure if I played with Syria yet. Probably? Ah, eh, whatever. They'll rush, we'll shoot missiles, we get that. Ooh. I won't shot anything yet. Excellent. Uh, BRDM swatters are probably APC types. No. They're, uh, they're a car with six anti-tank missiles. Anti-tank guns, anti-tank guns, infantry squads, infantry squads, BTRs, these are machine guns. Okay, I was expecting actual missiles, not this horror shit. There are no Sagar squads. They they basically have half a dozen missile vehicles and then nothing. The typical uh, T-55s. I wouldn't say these are god awful, but their fire control is, is subpar compared to the Israeli equivalent. Still, they have a. Uh, that's a lot of infantry. The Shermans aren't that amazing. Um. Why we are not exactly trenched though, are we? Right. Um where do we see from here? Ah, uh, here, that's fairly good. Peace on sea shit. So, we have a couple of platoons here. No, it's a. Uh, yeah, two platoons. At least, and we need to move around. This can't see shit. And now that again, these. So we are much better off moving these into a better position. It's meant to do some kind of a counter offensive. I don't know. What I do know is that they're worthless here. We find in the Village, we can probably force things fairly close range. That'll work for us. If we can get it below 10 hexes, let's say, then that there's very little advantage on either side. Both will be easily killed and it be treatable well. We might still have the advantage even then, but the advantage will be much less. Uh, these guys can technically shoot here, but uh, they're not gonna hit there. Still. Gotta do what we gotta do. <sighs> the missiles should fire at a longer range than the halfway point. 
be three quarters. Not so sure with these guys. I mean, we can clearly fire, not sure if we should. There's going to be a huge amount of counter fire immediately. So I'm thinking we might still want to wait. So we'll only get a single shot, and I don't particularly care to fire now. Someone else has to take the heat first. We should start to do something though. We need to decide who's going to take the heat. I could let them come a little bit closer, I guess. So don't fire at all for now. Machine guns are okay to fire whenever, I don't care. ETR, totally worthless. Good uh, draw away fire though. What about you? You have already moved. These can sort of see the correct spot which we want to see, but they're so far away. Uh, maximum range 15 might be good reaction range. We can manually shoot further away. What about Mr. T group? Mm. I wouldn't say these are necessarily in a horrible position, but there's the but. We use this hill as our cover, we might be able to position ourselves here. So if they drive past us, or rather when they drive past us, we might be able to make some good shots of them. Right. A little bit less action than I thought. Mm. They slowed down a little bit. Ooh, they do have better tanks too. Okay. We'll have to start firing now. Problem being, there's like one or two units that we don't give a crap about that can reasonably fire. These are scout versions, they're not but they probably don't even carry troops. Dangerous, but not too dangerous.
So what are we gonna do? BTRs are probably our best bet. Uh, they need a fairly good hit from the enemy to die. They can milk the machine and fire out of the APC. What are your chances of actually hitting something? 2% Better to not fire at all Uh, 2% I'm thinking of just putting smoke up at this point It's not exactly great But um, we the range doesn't really work for us anyway. Problem is we don't have that many shots left because of this. Old chance of doing something. Mm. Ah, yeah, what to do, what to do. We have a chance to hit it. And we've definitely been seen, so... I think this one should have probably fire on it. It's gonna be destroyed, but... Uh, I, I can't keep ignoring the targets that come out. Come close and they'll offer a good uh, opportunity for us to shoot something. But that's the only shot that gun is ever gonna make. Bigger question is what the hell am I going to do with the bees? I can take a shot and that's basically it. Oh shit. Mobilize. Pull back. Mobilization is not that bad. Alright, that's two tanks that will never really get to the battle lines. Right, not bad. Mm, these might be a bit too far away to shoot at anything. No, not really. Mobilized. Ah, good enough. It's not great, but it's uh, it's pressure off from the uh, defending unit. Uh, we still have to do something with the tanks.
Uh, we don't have a huge amount of shots when we move, so I'll have to be fairly careful with what I'm gonna do with these. Why is your range so much? Uh, we'll have to keep in mind that there could be artillery incoming, so as nice as that uh, place is, we might not, not want to put everything there. A lot of APC action, but still uh, actually less than what I expected. Nice carpet of enemies coming our way, but uh, doesn't look particularly threatening to me. Don't want to use the guns. Like the angle to be better at, at all possible. I don't think this BTR ever fired. If I poke my head up there, it's going to be shut off immediately. Mm. It would be a good idea to pull back the swatters properly. Uh, I mean, if we wait here and the enemy comes closer, we won't be able to utilize them anymore. That's the thing. The tanks are in fairly good positions, but these are not. So we should pull as much range as possible and try to make the attack from a longer distance away. We need to try to use the six missiles we have. That's the goal, more or less. 17 targets. Good luck surviving and shooting something. At the very least, you need distractions. Might be able to get a APC or two, but not if you are the only one firing. Uh, I guess we need to decide what the hell we're gonna do with the tanks. How close do we want to get? Uh, to me it seems like this is a fairly natural choke point. Try to get as much fire focused on uh, units coming in there. Which means we would have to get into firing positions very quickly. 
alternatively try to hold out here in the, in the cover of the city and force things into fairly close range naturally I guess the smoke is gone Turn fire, okay. So the using them is more like I guess like a sniper. If you fire you get the fuck out. You don't st stay in play no matter what. Pointless casualty. Tanks I can fire at. No. I'm not gonna move anywhere with these. We're in a fairly good firing position, and there are no tanks that can spot us at the moment. Ah. <sighs> The question is what to do with these guys. We could stay here and uh, cover this. My worry is that we, at that point we're a bit too close to the targets we want to really shoot at. So we would be better up and back a little bit. Right. It's not bad. It's more or less the same area target-wise. However, we have a little bit more extra distance so we're harder to hit and we will probably hit a little bit better. Mm. Question is what to do with the tanks. We need to hold position no matter where we go. These do not work well with it. Mm. I guess we haven't been spotted yet. Not looking particularly good here. Still, the burning wrecks will provide a decent amount of smoke for us as cover. Someone's going to have to start firing though. We're gonna lose the anti tank guns, but as I said, someone's going to have to start doing something. Shit. Not much you can do about that. Got a single shot up, and that's the end. Do we have smoke ammunition? No. Alternatively, we could stay here doing nothing and wait for them to go past us, then open up at them when they're fighting their rest. I think that's uh, pretty much the only thing we can do. Not sure positioning the tanks like this is a good idea though.
because we we still have to move in uh, out of the cupboard a little bit so it will drop our chances to hit we could move south for the battle line here but uh, there's really no time for that either okay still got to do something this this will not work at least platoon of tanks or two should move into a better position R0 R0 it is uh, There's APCs coming mostly so we're safe for a turn or two After that things can get things can change drastically Right A little bit of extra smoke and you might be able to start firing with this one. to stop the APs. Where we start killing them, that's where the infantry will be done. Still, I'm sort of disappointed about what they can do. I, I don't want to stick my nose up there but uh, yeah they're starting to sort of trickle down like diarrhea it's unpleasant but it's not that particularly dangerous and they aren't going to these flags they're still pushing forward Uh, let's start with the missiles. There are only a handful of tanks here, so I would definitely prefer to prioritize, prioritize them. Right. Bit risky to be here, but at the same time, we don't exactly have a place to go either, so... Ninety-nine percent chance, and we can do it. Eighty-eight, then we blew it. Are you good at anything? I need to pull back. Uh, actually, I don't need to do a goddamn thing, but uh, it's starting to be a bit risky staying here. Because of the tank was destroyed, we're not in that bad of a position with these tanks. They're, they're going to be hard pressed to push forward with a tank or two firing at them. It's 
still their tanks do see us. I need to... That's a bit risky to move, but I uh, gotta move. There's an R platoon, the other tank platoon. Ah, uh, shoot at something. Not everyone has to move. But it's a good show why we should be moving. Just even a little bit of a distance to the target, and it just doesn't work. Have the accuracy to do a goddamn thing. Either they've chosen not to shoot at me or they can't see me. I'm guessing he's sending a couple tanks to take these. You're dead, because you fired. Well, without cover, we have the uh, Israeli task force coming at us. The end result would have been the same. At least, this way, we they dropped their infantry. They're usually not that eager to pick them up again. It's a waste of ammunition for the tanks, or rather, a waste of shots, not really ammunition. Okay, new targets. Why the fuck don't you hit anything? I mean, 99%, but no. No, no, no. no. I mean, what the fuck is that percentage that I'm seeing? Clearly it's not the chance to hit. <sighs> yeah, uh, I, I don't understand. I fucking don't hit anything, and it's close to 100%. I, I don't understand it. What the fuck is going on? Two percent. But they have some kind of magical armor of God or something that, that I had, I'm not aware of. Either way, it's pretty infuriating. Nothing hits. Even when you're supposed to be have a guaranteed hit, no. Games is no. It's a bit frustrating to play like that. Two percent. Why? I mean that's that's Pretty goddamn awful. Ten percent. Play doesn't matter. We can't hit at ninety nine and it's probably not either. And for the gun anymore. Yeah. Hmm, you were pretty badly routed. Okay, could you kill something? Maybe. It's it's right there next to you and you're a tank. And you can't fucking hit it. We need to start scoring kills, or we're in real trouble.
APCs might not be able to destroy it directly, but they're still uh, basically I can't hold up any kind of serious resistance if the APCs go in and drop their infantry and just suppress everything. Okay, that's a little bit of a relief for us. Not exactly usually impactful, but extra smoke. Extra APCs killed, so it slows them down a little bit, maybe. Ah, gotta shoot. We're, we're bone anyway. This way we might be able to suppress them a little bit before we get super bone. No, we don't want to hit this day. It's some kind of Syrian thing I'm not aware of. Right there is no more trying to stay here. Yeah, no matter what we were going to do, that's going to really be the end result. Problem now is there's too much infantry and extra stuff coming through. So while we might be able to do something... <sighs> we can stay there. Okay. See how it goes. Infantry squad basically delayed the tanks a little bit. That's it. Okay, how many missiles do you guys have? Three still. So that's not too bad. And there is impossibility in hitting targets. Ah. PCs are acceptable targets. A reason they can make the progress is because of the APC. Any other targets? Not really. I don't get it. Is it something about the APC that makes it some kind of different target? I, I, I'm hard pressed to think of any other reasons why our missiles refuse to do anything. Right here, from back. We still have a couple of shots left. I would prefer to save them for actual tanks at this point. We might not get that many shots, but at the same time, there aren't that many tanks either. And I'm not sure what they're doing. Still coming in strong for the flags. Can't really shoot at anything interesting. Ah, <sighs> nothing interesting. Guess we will try to do whatever we can with the guns. Although, not sure what the value of me shooting there now would be. Uh, 
Alright, we can shoot pretty much once and that's it. Still gives them something to think about. Pretty much with any other type of tank, you could actually get kills. Ah, <sighs> whatever. They aren't making good progress. So while we're we might have trouble maintaining all our positions, we're not in a horrible position either. Definitely not in a horrible position. We can without a doubt cause a couple of tank casualties on them. Please hit 99%. Yeah, I'm not shooting at APCs anymore with these. But I, there's, I don't understand what the fuck is different about them. They're supposed to. Yeah. They're in a sweet spot, they have good accuracy, they're a mechanical unit. What the hell is the problem? Yeah, you'll wait. Okay, let's start this the right way. Worthless machine guns first. Mm, that they pretty much can't do anything. I'll just remind them that I'm here. Anything else? Uh, there isn't much else. I suppose we can move on to the T whatever's T fifty five. Right, they attack. They got their asses handed to them, they retreated. Our rifle squad are a threat to us, so I can't just let them go. I'd be better to save shots, but uh, I don't care that much. Feel like we're in a good position anyway. Still a little bit disappointed how weak the accuracy is against everything. Can't even kill infantry. Infantry is usually the easy one. Okay, what exactly are we gonna do with these guys then? I don't think we can do much. We're gonna lose the first set of flags, I'm not sure if we're gonna retake them, but they're gonna have to buy them 
with any of the tanks, so it's not an easy jeep or something to run into. You missed. You died. Ooh, They're shooting at the infantry. For reasons, apparently. And we're suppressing them with machine guns. Uh, our accuracy is terrible. And they're shooting our heavy machine guns for some reason. That's something I don't get. I suppose that it might be the only target they can fire at. Right. They m move, so they have accuracy negatives, but do they have the same problems we have? Okay, seeing any actual tanks? Yes. Well, it's only 89%. Naturally, it's pretty uncertain where it's gonna hit. 77. Yeah, not even close. Ah, uh, should I pull back? I'm inclined to believe the answer is yes. We do need a certain amount of distance to effectively use these. Not sure what exactly fired on us. Okay. Mr. Tank. You basically either hit or you die. There's there's no ifs or buts about this. Uh, we try to start the firing with something else. Still, they yeah, he only moved like two hexes though, so it's not like he moved a massive amount. Still, seven percent chance to hit. Yeah, this is not good. We can take a whole shot at them. That is amazing. I did fire on shitty targets, but still, the bigger effect is probably the rowling because of the loss of command unit. Okay, you have to fire on the tanks. None of them are destroyed, we are in big trouble. If one of them is destroyed, we might be able to hold them for a turn or two. It has to be this one. Well, at least we got a hit, that's something. He's dead and I don't really see how I can have possibly avoid not being dead. <sighs> Do I want to change my position with these? Yes, uh, there we go. This can provide a little bit of a cover. Not much, but... <sighs> a little bit, it's, it's still a desperation thing. Holy crap, you killed something. What about you? We could start firing at the shot, but uh, I don't think that's a good idea. We would die pretty much instantaneously. Uh, and they have taken this at some point. Not sure what exactly took it though. Did he drop an APC on over over it? Something like that?
We're gonna get a lot of casualties. Have reasonable lo locations for shooting. Yep. And they actually hit. They have better accuracy than our anti-tank guided missiles. Still, there's only four turns left and they've about to reach the first flag, so we're gonna at the very least contest things heavily. You are out of shot, so go away. You are out of shot, so go away. Just giving them an easy target. You have two shots, and you have two shots. Probably won't be able to get those two shots, but uh, we'll do what we can. The yeah, chances of hit are pretty much zero. And we're more or less gonna stay here. I, I don't see what else we really should do. Yeah, good luck shooting at that Isherman. I'm just recharging my shots. Uh, I don't want to really get involved. It's a shitty situation for the guy, but it's a shitty situation all around for everyone. But if someone pops their head and starts firing, they're not in any better position than their guy already being screwed so pretty thoroughly there. I don't really understand why they're not in any hurry to move. Yeah, they got a couple of flags, but uh, that's not much. I think I'll start moving BTRs. Okay, I can use this BTR to retake them whenever I want. Mobility is fantastic. Right. We have more of them. I seem to recall we having more. Yeah, there should be at least three. Where's the third one? No? There. That's not in a good position anymore. Don't die, don't. Okay, not much, not much we can do. We can take one hot shot at him. That's pretty much all. And there was much rejoicing. Uh, they can certainly shoot at us, even with just the infantry. So, I'll definitely pull back. Not sure if it's a great idea, but... I think it gives me a better chance to survive. Right, they're not. They're focusing too much on nonsense targets. They're doing fine, but they're not pushing forward really. I'm not sure if I even see any real tanks anymore. Yeah, and I'm still. One. 43% chance, I'll take it. And we have one more. Let's 
minor cover, but it's cover. Are we going to make a serious push to try to retake flags? That's a decision we'll have to make. Uh, APCs. That that's it, I think. It's still very risky. They have a significant amount of troops there, so it's not. Just as just walking as easy as walking at, at them trying to retake something that it won't go like that. Yeah, these uh, heavy tanks and probably other units are still moving at a steady pace. So by the time we would get to the flags, there would be extra enemies there. Those being the extra enemies. Right, they're moving maybe three, four hexes each turn. So they'll land right about there at the 14th. Last chance to do something. Final missile, go. Same with you, and if you move, you can't shoot anymore. That is magnificent. So, I guess we'll stay here then. Nowhere is safe anymore. You gotta take the shots. Very risky though. Also, the fire smoke. But, ah, uh, crap. Ah, okay. Even if it takes down that tank, it's still going to keep pushing forward. So someone else will have to deal with him. Yay! What about you? Ooh. Yeah, we could fire on them, but they're still a bit too far away for effectively hitting anything. This guy will never be able to move. This might occasionally be able to move, but mostly won't. Ah, okay. If they reach that location. Uh, the problem here is these. Unless they're in the dark area, the moment we fire any um those guys we will die. Uh, whatever. So maybe a draw or a minor victory. 
He still control most of the flag, so it's hardly a victory for them. We are draw though. That seems to be the theme about these missions. There, neither side has the capability of easily taking out the other. And uh, if I have to assault, I don't have the luxury of burning out the enemy. So we we'll basically are forced to fight at close range. If I defend, I have enough common sense enough to fire on the long range all that much. So again, we get to a situation where both sides will suffer casualties. End result is inconclusive. Right. That still spots us, and we could shoot at an APC. But there's definitely going to be tanks coming out of the smoke soon, and he'll enter this smoke. Yeah, still saying there are gonna be tanks coming out of the smoke, so I'm not that eager to continue firing on the APC. I, I think we are going to have much more interesting targets on the next turn, so we'll wait for them. Same with these. APC, uh, yeah, we're within striking distance of capturing, recapturing those. We are not in a striking distance to do much else. Uh, certainly not recapturing these. I'm going to make a dash for it, hope the best. We might not have the reach, but yeah, who the hell cares? Mm. Move a little bit. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, they're a bit more better at this. When I played with, play with Israel and I saw a platoon or two of T-55s, my reaction never was that oh, we're in trouble, we're more or less that they need the platoon in order to counter one of my tanks. That's more or less how it is. Yep. These are regulars, I think. So they're not particularly experienced. Easily destroyed. The percentages give false impression about how accurate this is though. But I don't know what exactly am I seeing and that pisses me off. It is not the accuracy, the realistic accuracy. That's not what it is. It should be. It usually is the first weapon system. Not with these guys though. Yeah, we definitely don't have the reach to really take anything. Still, this is pretty much the last chance to fire at something, so fire at something.
This guy has been sitting here for probably throughout the entire match, and he has two shots. The 55s are just god awful. Uh, I think when you start to see anti tank uh, guided missiles on the tanks themselves, then you start to have decent Russian tanks. This is not it. Yeah, 30 hexes. Might as well shoot. We might not get another chance. The suppression effect, if nothing else, might be notable. Might be interesting to play or try to play with a campaign with the Soviet army against uh, various types of more modern armies. And the problem would be basically you would be inferior on the tank department. Uh, in a scenario, it's not that big of a deal, but in a campaign, you you basically constantly have to replay with fresh troops if you can even afford to repair your losses. So it's a bit different. Not sure if I could make it. So there are also got quite a few custom-made campaigns on. The Particularly looking forward to something like that. I just think the custom made campaigns are gonna be. well. The fantasy battles might be interesting, but mostly they're gonna be the same fights or wars we've seen in these uh, scenarios, I'd imagine. A single shot with suppression 3. Just wow. You're you're so, you're horrible. Just wondering, is it the tank or is it because the crew sucks so badly? Is it the Syrians? Never heard anywhere claim that Syrians were to be some sort of elite troops, but there's a limit to how shit you can be. It might keep going for a while, but to the nose. This might be your only chance to actually shoot at something with a reasonable chance of hitting it. From 40 hexes away, single shot, everyone died. <sighs> yeah, click, 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 click. At least we're getting the click, so I suppose I should be happy. Right. And retreat button. And ready. Abandoned. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be saving shots at this point. I'm just going to assume that the fight is gonna end on this turn. I'm going to make an infantry push, but that's not gonna go anywhere. They never do. If you want to make an infantry push, you need to know very, very accurately what the hell you're doing, what your units can do. Overwhelm the enemy. Sending a couple of infantry squads to attack at tanks without anything, anything like smoke or suppression fire is just not going to work. Just no. There's another tank here. No. No. There was another tank here. I 
Okay. I don't really see a point in a suicide push to try to get the flags. So many tanks are going to get me. I would just lose the APCs. Yeah, do you have smoke? No. No one knew he has smoke. Okay, this guy's gonna to die if he stays here, but uh Right, not much of a mission. Shit all around. Marginal victory for me, I'd say. Yep. Not bad. Without the anti tank guided missiles, we basically have no chance at least. The, you don't need a huge difference in tank technology, especially in the firing. Optics and accuracy, and it's it's a night and day difference. I suppose if you can somehow force it close range through use of environment or smoke at this point stage, still, yeah, you can still pull it off. But I think the smoke option will also go away at some point. So it's either the environment or nothing. So basically, you can might as well dump the heavy and expensive main battle tank type tanks and go for faster mobility of various types of missile systems. Possibly. I, I do need to check the... what the hell does the vision mean? Is there is a way to check it? I, I feel the value is nice, but it's it doesn't really tell you anything. It does, is it... what does it... Do are there new ba new abilities? Uh, are you getting them because you have a ten point higher uh, op optics or it's not a visibility value, but whatever it was targeting maybe. I, I need more info. 